Okay, I've been pretty famous in the past for putting um, pictures of myself on the internet with me ugly crying. So now you get to see me with a rosacea breakout and no makeup and um, just sitting in my living room because I really feel like I need to tell you guys something. I want you to know that it is our daddy's heart for us to know who we are. To know that there is nothing that the world can label us by that has to stick. Because you can be uh, a woman who cheated, you can be a man who stole, you can be a girl who uh, was promiscuous, you can be um, a murderer, you can be a drug addict. You can be all those things, but when freedom comes, when you believe in Jesus and that heavenly exchange happens where grace fills our life and the life and the freedom of Christ enters us, we give all of that back, we give it away, and the Lord buries it in a sea of forgetfulness. We're no longer those people. We don't have to worry about being those people ever again. Because where there is freedom, there's more freedom, there's liberty, there's life. And if you are struggling right now and you feel pulled back and tugged on, if the call of a cigarette is really, really loud in your ear right now and in, your, in the pit of who you are, you feel this tug, know that Jesus breaks every chain, that there is nothing that you have to do except submit to the Lord and ask for him to come and fill you with his peace to come and give you a way out God does not take us from the valley floor straight to the mountaintop he takes us through the valley and up the mountain and it takes step by step but no each step can be glorious as long as we're submitted to the Lord and walking in the freedom and the power of his love so if you're struggling right now, I want you to hear this. The Lord loves you. And he has good things for you. He's so, so on fire for you. And I know we hear all the time like, well, that girl, she's on fire for the Lord. But I want you to hear me. The Lord burns with a desire for you. He longs for you. And he loves you you and so I want you to know that there is nothing that you have to worry about there is nothing in this world that can overtake you and ruin you that God cannot rescue you from that he cannot lift you out of any pit that the enemy has has dug and you feel like you're laying in the bottom of know this that the Lord will pour, pour his grace. He will pour his mercy. He will pour his everlasting love into it. And you will begin to rise to the top. And out of that pit, God will turn it into a well where life springs from it. The thing that the enemy desired to take you out with is the very thing that the Spirit of the Lord will empower you to set other people free from. No. That there is nothing that God cannot do. And he's waiting for you to understand who you are. You're his kid. His kingly priests. His sons. His daughters. And he makes no distinction. You are his. That you are his. That you are his. It does not matter your color. It does not matter your age. It does not matter your gender. It does not matter... Whether you make $5 an hour or whether you make $500 an hour. You are his. And he paid more than you could ever pay just so that he could say that. So know this. You are God's. And God's alone. And all he wants is for you to know who you are. So that he can use you to tell other people who he is.